Hey y'all, welcome back. We're going to be talking about the different contrast media that we use for CT. Um, we know that we use iodine. Iodine. <laughs> um, I had a viewer ask me the difference between, um, what is it, volumen? So we have volumen. We have different types, but I'm just going to concentrate on these three right now. So volumen. Omnipeg and Isoview. So in my hospital, we normally use Isoview and we have Isoview 300 and Isoview 370. So 300 uses, we use this for routine studies and this one we use it for angios. So it's going to be a lot brighter, hence the number. This is higher than this. So 370 is going to be more opaque versus radiolucent. So it's going to be really bright. And this is going to show more vessels. So arteries, um, aortas, and stuff like that. This you want to go at 40 seconds. It's around that time. Um, the routine studies, you want to use it for like abdomen pelvis that are 70 seconds or chest, abdomen, pelvis, or just a chest that's around 60 seconds. Um, moving forward to the Omnipeg, it's also 300. And then the more viscous one is 350. So you already know that the Omni versus the ISO, this one's gonna be lighter than this, just with its number itself. Um, and then moving to the volumen, no, it's not called a volumen, it's called Visiopeg, sorry, Visiopeg. This one's going to be 270 and 320. So here it is. To answer your question, um, why do we use the Visipeg? When would we use a Visi Peg over Omni or ISO? So if someone has high allergies, sorry, allergies, um, so they have a long chart of allergies listed on their chart, this is one that you're going to want to use over any of these stuff. Um, if someone has any bad kidney functions, if their kidney is really bad, you want to use this because, again, this is about 10% already less viscous than this one. So with the contrast, it's very thick. That's why we want to warm it up. Um, it's really hard on the kidneys, and the kidney has to filter it out. So that's why we have to look at the creatinine and all that stuff to see how our kidney functions. So um, this will get filtered out a lot faster than any of these stuff. So just know that when you use the lower um, contrasts, that's all for routine studies, all uh, soft tissues. Um, what else do you use it for? Soft tissues, any like organ functions that need to be really delayed, you would always use this. And then a more vibrant, opaque, um, angios, arteries, stuff like that that's faster and you want to see vessels. Um, if there's any occlusion or embolism and stuff, you want to use the brighter one. And another reason that we use the Visipeg is that we, well, we wouldn't use a Visipeg is because Visipeg is more expensive. So this is the only time that we would not is that it's expensive and that's why we mainly have ISOView and we rarely use this because it costs more, but it's better for the patient. So everything comes down to money. And that's all I have for now. Um, thanks for watching this little scrap paper. <laughs> I'm really bad with tech, so I um, hope you like my drawing and my scribble scrabbles. And thanks for watching. Toodles, noodles.